Hey everyone, I wanted to get on and do a tune in Tuesday. I've really been thinking about Luke 9. In Luke 9, there's a section where Jesus foretells his death. He's told the disciples before, but you know, we're kind of hard headed as a people, <clears throat> just as humans in general. But he's told them that he's going to be killed. Um, and on the third day raised. And I'm sure that probably made them anxious, kind of crazy. What's that life gonna look like? But he follows it up um, in chapter nine with verse 23. He said to them, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but ever who lose, whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Guys, we're in a really tough spot. seems like just when we get the right footing on some of the stuff that's going on in our world, the rug's pulled out from underneath us again. And it's really easy to just try to go into survival mode. Just try to make it like happen the easiest it can for us. But the thing that I noticed about taking up a cross is crosses aren't for survival. No one survived a cross. Crosses, crosses were for death. So my question for myself and for everyone else today is what places are you trying to survive in that you should really be dying to? What places do you need to die so that Christ can live? What places do you need to quit trying to live that he's already lived for you? That he's already beaten by his death on the cross? The thing about this section of scripture is that the disciples, like Jesus hasn't died yet. We have the privilege of knowing that he dies and he is raised and he is so powerful and he sends us the Holy Spirit and we're able to connect with God in a way that the disciples weren't able to. In fact, Jesus said he would be better. The spirit would be better than having Jesus in the flesh. But right now today, in what in this season that you've been trying to just survive, maybe in start, instead of trying to survive, maybe we should die. Because our Lord is alive. He is doing things. He is active. And we can be a part of it. But it's not about us. Because if anyone wants to follow him, we need to pick up that instrument of death. At the time, they didn't know he was going to die on a cross. But they knew what a cross was. They knew a cross wasn't self-help. They knew a cross wasn't better me. They knew a cross was a dead me. In which places, in which places do my children need a dead Christina so they can have a living Lord? In which places do my friends need a dead Christina so they can have a loving relationship with the Lord? Where can I pick up that cross and lay down my life? so that he can be glorified. It's not survival. 
It's not trying. It's dying. But he lives. Oh, my friends, he lives.